So here is Illinois during the last part of the Ice Age, about 20,000 years ago, with a great sheet of ice sitting on top of most of the northeast quarter of Illinois, with small forests of black spruce trees, herds of mammoths and mastodons and other large and small animals, other strange animals that aren't in Illinois today. This is what Illinois looked like just a few thousand years ago. The black spruce trees are still around today, but not in Illinois. They grow up in Canada and Alaska, where the climate is cold, because that's where they like it. And so the fact that we had black spruce trees in Illinois is another way of telling what the climate was like here in Illinois during that time. But how do we know this is what Illinois looked like then? What gives us our clue that this was the landscape of Illinois about 20,000 years ago? Well, the glaciers were here, and they left these hills. They left these great moraines across the landscape of Illinois. And that tells us the glaciers were here. But how do we know about some of the rest of this? How do we know that black spruce trees were here in Illinois? Well, we find them here in Illinois. Not alive. They won't live in Illinois' climate today. We find what's left of them buried in the ground, buried in the clay and the sand and the silt that the glaciers brought in and dumped on Illinois, we find these trees. Sometimes entire forests with the stumps and the roots still intact. This is part of the trunk of a black spruce tree. And if you're an expert on trees, you know that this is a black spruce tree. And so finding this wood buried 50 feet underground, 100 feet underground, finding this wood in the glacial deposits tells us that black spruce trees grew here and confirms that the climate was cold. At the time, the glaciers were here piling all this stuff in here. The glaciers were killing off these black spruce trees, burying them underneath the glacial deposits and preserving pieces of wood like that ancient tree trunk. We also find bones and other things. This is one tooth from a mastodon. Even an elephant, like a mastodon, can only have a few of these teeth in its mouth. But it didn't need too many. This is the tooth of a mastodon. And this is one single tooth from a mammoth. Mammoth and Mastodon were both cousins of the elephant, related to the modern elephants. Mammoths are more closely related than Mastodons. And they lived here in Illinois during the Ice Ages and before. Their bones, their teeth are found in the same glacial deposits that we find tree trunks like that in. This is the tooth of an animal that eats leaves and twigs, the tooth of a browser, an animal that lived in the forest and ate the plants there. This is the tooth of a grazer, of an animal that ate grass and flowers out on the tundra or the prairie. And this is the tooth of the mammoth. The mastodon looked somewhat similar, but, uh, but it was a different type of animal, and it wasn't as closely related to the elephant as the mammoth. Both these animals lived here in Illinois during the Ice Age. We find their bones, we find their tusks, we find their teeth buried in the glacial deposits right here in Illinois. So that's how we know that the landscape of 20,000 years ago looked something like this, with the great ice sheet melting with rivers and streams running off of the ice because it's a billion ton ice cube and it melts. In some places, water gets caught behind the moraine and forms lakes caught between the ice, the melting ice, and the moraine in front, and we get lakes and ponds that form and then drain away across the landscape. So we have a wet Arctic landscape of tundra, black spruce, herds of mammoth and mastodons and other strange animals like that wandering across the Illinois landscape. But it doesn't stay this way. It didn't last because at some point, 17,000 years ago or so, the glacier had reached its farthest point south and the glacier starts melting away and retreating back out of Illinois. And it stops in some places. It stalls out for a while. And where it does, it builds up another moraine. 
And the glacier did this many times as it melted back out of Illinois. 